If you live near or work near Waikiki, the Waikiki area, and you're in need of primary or urgent care, keep Doctors of Waikiki in mind because they prioritize your convenience and accessibility to quality healthcare services. Last week we learned so much and had so much fun with Dr. T. We asked him to come back from Doctors of Waikiki. How's yeah. it, Dr. T? Oh, wow. thank you. Thank, thank you for you having so me much. back. Yeah, and thank you so much for coming back. And let me ask you a question. Doc, you know, doctors are so super busy right now. Clinics are jam-packed, hospitals. Do you guys have any openings, Doctors of Waikiki? Yes. The way I've designed the clinic is so that we can fit in anybody almost at any time. For urgent care, it will open every day from 8 o'clock till 10 p.m. every day, which is unique. And mm -hmm. we do primary care from noon to 8 every day. Wow. So why I've done that is so that people that before they go to work can come in or after they off, get off work, they can come in. Very unique. I, I, if I did traditional banker hours, it'd be hard for people to come in. Right, they have right, to lose right. work and everything. So, yeah, we've got myself. We have another doctor, Dr. Isidore, Thomas Isidore. I am adding more doctors so we can do more primary care and more urgent care. That is amazing. So, you, as you mentioned, you have primary and urgent care. But I looked at your website. You also have a, a number of other services, including a fully stocked medical pharmacy. Yes. Can anybody come there? Yes, well, the, usually it's the tourists that take advantage of that because they, they um, get a better deal from us than they would from the pharmacy. But yeah, many times local people don't want to go to the pharmacy right. and uh, they can get their uh, meds there. Especially if they're working in Waikiki, they can Correct. just zoom by your place, Correct. grab their, their prescriptions and then head back home. You also have Aloha Aesthetic, Aesthetics, which we'll talk about. We actually have a, a question from a viewer coming up. Okay. But let's talk about orthopedic services real quick. Yeah, so we have right next door to us is Dr. Sam Chen. He's a general uh, orthopedic surgeon, but he's also, which is unique, a hand specialist. So he's like, I call him the carpal tunnel king. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Doctors so, of Waikiki. Yeah. And then uh, we do imaging, we do labs, we can help with the medications. Um, and because of the way it's been designed and the size of the space and the waiting area and more than enough exam rooms, we have a really good flow. So most people get in and out, get their visits done within 15 to 20 minutes. That is amazing. So yeah. convenient. Again, if you work in or live near Waikiki, you got to go check out Doctors of Waikiki. Now, we've been, last week we started this, this uh, feature with you, Ask Dr. Yeah. T, and we had a couple questions come in this week. So let's uh, go ahead. Question number one, I have a stuffy nose, cough, and watery eyes. Is it an allergy or am I sick? This is from Kanani from Kapolei. All right. Well, Kanani. Yes, it could be allergies, it could be a virus, it could be even COVID, you don't know, because um, COVID presents with runny nose, colds present with runny nose. Most people that have allergies have had allergies for quite some time, so they know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I'd say if this is a new onset thing for you, it's probably a virus. And you guys also uh, do uh, immunizations, COVID and, and those things, Correct. right? Yep, we do flu, COVID. RSV? Uh, if we have it, we do it. Usually, if it's difficult to obtain, we have everyone go to the pharmacy. Gotcha. We have a prescription and they go and get it. All yeah. right, good question, Kanani. Here's the next question for us. This is from John from Panaeva over on Hawaii Island. What causes headaches? I know my wife, what, what she would say would be me. <laughs> and when do I know it's serious enough to call you, Dr. T? Well, what causes headaches? Well, you know, the brain doesn't have any um, pain receptors inside the brain. So it's not actually the brain that's hurting. It's the muscles and the arteries all around your head. Wow. So most common cause for headache, I'd say is from the neck. And why the neck has become more frequent trigger is exactly what people are doing all the time. They're on their phones, but they put their laptops on their chest and they're going like this. <laughs> so, so the neck, the head is, is heavy. The neck is not made to carry that much weight in a fixed position like that. So most of the time it's related either to the neck or to stress, you know, people looking real, you know, looking at their computer screen or focusing a lot with their eyes, maybe they, get, they need to get their eyes checked. But um, there, are, there is also migraines, which is a different, different subset of uh, problems. But having headaches is no fun. And then right. you can go see the doctor, he can come up with th different things. But one thing I tell people is about these stretches, if you think it's from your neck, so if you're getting a headache and you feel the back of your neck here and it hurts, yeah, then it's probably from the, from the neck. There's nerves that come out of the neck muscle to innervate the scalp, kind of like this. And so if you can get those muscles to relax, the headaches will go away. So do some do yeah, stretches. Some like yeah, you want to push down. You gotcha. want to look to your left, look to your right. Even put the phone down for a little bit. Put the phone down, no more. <laughs> so if you work on a computer all day, you want to set the computer at eye length. You don't want to have your head. You want your head and your neck in a neutral position. So that way you're not 
uh, stressing the neck. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah. All right, thank you for that uh, question. I can keep on going. <laughs> well, give me some more. Yeah, we have a couple more questions. <laughs> this one from Amy from Kihei over on the island of Maui. What's a nurse practitioner and uh, what is a physician's assistant? Are they qualified to diagnose me? Yes, I love nurse practitioners and physician assistants because they f fill in a gap where when we need more providers, they're, <clears throat> they're, they're on par with a doctor. As long as they've had you know, training and they've gone to a good school, they're on par with the doctor. Okay. Um, I, I, I use a lot of nurse practitioners and physician assistants in my practices because it helps me provide services and give good service at a little bit lower cost because there's a, there's a wage difference between what we pay uh, MDs and what we pay nurse practitioners. So it allows me to have more providers without adding too much cost so I can provide services to the community. All right, Doc, I got, I'm getting wrapped from our producer, but I have one more question. This is from an an anonymous viewer, not for me. Uh, what are skin tags and are they contagious? All right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you, you, you can diagnose me about and talk to me about this a bit. It is for me. Anyway, follow okay. Dr. T. Hey, it depends yeah. where the skin tags are. <laughs> All right, Dr. T, doctors of Waikiki, thank you so much for being on the show.